50000 if you're coming from China. $30,000 if you're coming from Iran. Ten to 15000 if you're coming from Central America. And then they flood those people in mass waves, just like we saw in El Paso this week, compelling the Border Patrol to focus its resources at the points of entry, ports of entry. To use a military term, the cartels are neutralizing Customs and Border Patrol by forcing them to thin the lines in the rural areas, then the fentanyl and the nefarious individuals they're, they're trafficking into the United States come across in the rural areas. Let's look at this El Paso mass wave that attempted to come across. It required a massive response from Customs and Border Patrol, concentrating our forces in their diversionary attack. I can only imagine what they snuck around the ports of entry while those agents were blocking the mass waves of people. You should go check out what the Twitter feed actually said or what the social media post actually said. It was from the cartels. In one sector on our border, that is 30 miles long, normally 200 agents patrol that area. It's down to seven men and women pulling three shifts a day to cover 30 miles. Why? Because the agents are moved to other parts of the border where their mass waves are coming. Look at Yuma, great example. And the video cameras placed by ranchers on the border show the cartel members in camouflage outfits wearing carpet shoes and backpacks full of fentanyl pouring into our country. And those folks aren't counted in the numbers. So why 6 million people now? Why 100,000 dead Americans to drugs like fentanyl? Why massive crime on our border cities and now throughout all cities of this country? Why is every city and every state made into a border state? Because of the decisions, because of the incompetence, and because of the dishonesty of the Department of Homeland Secretary, Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. We're here to show the American people why. We're here to find solutions to this problem, despite a president who laughed when talking about a mother who lost two children to fentanyl. To a secretary of DHS who seems to be okay with one sector alone, 25 to 30 Chinese nationals being released into the country with verified connections to the Chinese Communist Party and the Chinese Army. That's happening. You'd think with a situation so dire, that the Democrats would at least show up for the committee hearing. It's tragic that they aren't. That's the political stunt. You'd think with so many Americans dying of, as fentanyl pours into our country, as the drug cartels take operational control of our border, that Secretary Mayorkas would come up with something different than an app that further incentivizes people to pour into the country. But no. The failure at the southern border is not about money, it's not about numbers of Border Patrol agents, not about technology, although all of those things are, and we can do more, and we'll do more. This massive crisis, this human tragedy, is the result of decisions and the incompetence of this secretary. And I believe our hearing today will begin to show the process of how this has happened and why. I want to take a second before I conclude and thank the men and women of Customs and Border Patrol and thank our witnesses who are here today. They are doing yeoman's work. And I'm gonna come off my, I'm gonna take chairman's privilege, members, for just a second. As somebody who's been shot at in combat, I can tell you who's lost friends in combat. I can tell you, I, I understand a little. I don't understand a lot of it because you're looking for sometimes a needle in the haystack. Your rules of engagement are significantly different than ours were. But I know what it's like to have the tracer rounds coming at you. And I deeply, deeply appreciate your service and the service of the men and women, women who work for you. It is, it is impressive what they do every day, despite these unbelievable challenges that have been forced on them. Thank you all for being here. And thank you. That ends my statement.